a hem stitch needle is also known as a wing needle. Here's what the package looks like. And you can see that, that needle is one big, super wide needle, right? <laughs> That's why it's called a wing needle. It's super wide. It's a regular needle, but it's got two wings on the side. The hem stitcher wing needle is most frequently associated with heirloom sewing. But you know what? Every once in a while, I will see a hem stitch used in multimedia quilts. So if you like to make art quilts or multimedia quilts, you might give that a try. The hem stitch needle is so wide that you wouldn't be able to get two hem stitch needles through your throat plate. So there's a hem stitch with a universal needle on the double hem stitch needle. Again, Frequently used for heirloom sewing, but wow, every once in a while, you'll see it in multimedia or art quilt. Now, when you're using the hem stitch, or also known as a wing needle, you need to make sure that your throat plate is wide enough to accommodate not only the width of the needle, but the width of your stitch, because if not, guess what? You're going to be breaking a bunch of needles.